Hey guys, welcome back to Polting. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can create this exact render only using particle effects in Blender. So we'll just clear everything on our viewport and add a spear. And once you added a spear, we're just going to edit mode, turn on X-ray and delete top vertices. To that, get this kind of shape. And once you've done that, we'll just add a modifier called Solidify to make it thick and we'll just set the thickness to 0.3 meters so that it becomes like this and after doing that you're just going to click this arrow button and click apply now once you're done that we're just going to particles uh, properties at one class cycle and select here now you can see all kind of spikes emerging from geometry and these are pretty much hat and we'll just scale this out I'm going to set it to 0.1 meter and as you can see there's not a lot of hair on our geometry so to make it dense we'll just add children so to add children you're just going to expand children and set it to simple so that it becomes a little dense and if you observe carefully all our hair is aligned to either 90 degrees or 180 degrees there is no hair in 75 45 or 30 degrees so to fix that you're just going to select the geometry go to edit mode and hold down alt and select the top line so that the entire circle is selected and once you've done that we'll just bevel this so Control b and you're just going to do this we'll just do the same to the inner as well so once you've done that you can see there are hair in pretty much every angle so let's make this even more dense so we're just going to increase the display amount to 100 so that it becomes better now if your scene is not looking like mine we just try to scale it up or down as you can see as i'm scaling up there are some spots without hair and if i just scale this too small you can see it just becomes you know ping pong kind of thing and we don't want that so find the appropriate size now once you've found your appropriate size you just add another spear and same with the spear we're just going to delete the top vertices now once you've done that we'll just again add a modifier solidify and but set the thickness to 0.5 a little bit little bit more than the first view we're just going to scale this down so that it stays inside the outer sphere and once you've done that let's just smooth it out because you can see all the squares kind of thing and that doesn't look good so to smoothen this out we're just going to add subdivision modifier now after adding subdivision modifier you can see it becomes automatically becomes a donut and to avoid that we're just going to place the subdivision surface above the uh solidify so that it stays flat now once you're done that we'll just go to front select mode and select the first sphere which is our top layer and rotate this in y axis and i'm going to rotate this in positive 40 degrees and the inner sphere y axis minus 40 degrees so that forms a kind of shape now i want you to uh, rotate the both of the sphere in x axis so that we could see them properly and i just want you to move the v kind of shape to over here so that the point is over here not over here so we're just going to select the inner sphere rotate this in z axis and x axis mode we'll do the same to the outer shell and we're just going to add another sphere 
and this is gonna be the last pier and just we're just going to place it in the empty space over here and add particle patch take it to here and set the head to 0 0.05 or 0 0.01 because this pier is going to be really really small and just set the children to simple now I want to this yeah for the outer shell you can just scroll down and expand K in and I don't know how to scroll on since I think it's king for king I'm just going to stick with K and you can set the type to wave braid spiral radial and if you set it to radial it becomes more fluffy it just come becomes distort and it looks fluffy kind of fluffy and you could just add that property to the sphere as well either way i'm just going to keep it like this and that's pretty much it so in a part two i'll be teaching you how to color the hair how to do lightings and how to render this as a photo file or a video file if you render this as a photo file i will show you how you can convert the photo files to the video file in, within the blender software for free so if you want to watch that video just subscribe politics and stay tuned